Hello, in a previous video I showed you how to recharge non-rechargeable alkaline batteries, mainly AAA batteries, so we use a, a wireless home phone. But in this video we'll show you how to recharge this kind of button cell batteries. Theoretically these are not rechargeable. These are CR2032, CR2025, which are lithium metal chemistry, 3 volts, nominal voltage. Here in this setup I have an SR626SW which is a zinc silver oxide alkaline electrolyte battery. This is common in little watch and things like that. And all these chemistries are secondary so even if the people who sell the battery doesn't say it's rechargeable they can be recharged several times. So we will start by one of these button cell. I built this Arduino project with the LCD screen in which I monitor two voltages, the current and the total capacity. So V0, V0 it's the voltage in the cathode of the battery. V1 it's in the other side of this resistor that I use to compute the current. I0 is the current in milliamperes and CT I obtain it integrating over time the current. So it's a total capacity in milliamperes hour that we input into the batteries. I will restart it to make sure the CT value is totally zero. And I already prepared this setup with two cables. This is a CR2032, so it's the same as this battery here. I need to connect the positive here. Now we are not charging it yet. We see that the current is zero. And we also see that V0 is 3.34, 33. So this is the the voltage of the battery now. It's fully charged because I charged it yesterday. Now I will close the circuit to show you how to charge the battery. So it's fully charged. We'll continue charging. This is not very advisable, but for a few seconds it will not create any harm. We see that the voltage increased to 3.5 and the current is 1.44 milliamperes. CT is still zero. Now it's 0 0.01. So we input in this uh, 0 0.01 milliamperes hour. So imagine this battery was totally discharged. If we look at the data sheet of these batteries, the capacity is 210 milliamperes hour. It means CT should get close to this value to consider the battery is fully charged. Or V0 should get close to 3.3, which is the uh, voltage of these batteries when they are charged. I will disconnect it and we see that the voltage goes back to 3.35 around 3.3 which is the charge voltage of this battery. We pass to the next one which is this SR626SW with uh, these two cables in the two electrodes. This is a zinc silver oxide alkaline electrolyte battery with a nominal voltage of 1.55 volts. So it's quite different than the lithium which is 3 volts, 3.3 totally charged. So we have to be a bit more careful when we charge. In addition, the total capacity of this battery is 28 milliamperes hour. It means if we want to charge at 0.1 C, it means that we cannot surpass around 2, 2.8 milliamperes hour. So it's not very advisable to apply the same setup to this because the voltage is much lower, the uh, potential difference is higher so we could be applying too much current. First of all I connect the cathode here, same as with the previous battery. And to close the circuit, now I will use an LED. This LED closes the circuit, we know that an, a red LED has a voltage jump around 2 volts, so I'm subtracting these 2 volts from the 5 and by doing this I reduce the current which is now 0 0.63 milliamps. We also see that V0 is 2.36, it's a bit too high. Probably this battery is a bit old and has very high internal resistance. That's why when we try to charge the voltage increases a lot and we see that, well, this also includes the little charging of the other battery at 0 0.02 milliamperes hour total charge. I will disconnect because it's already very overload. And when I disconnect I see that the voltage goes back to 2.02, 2.01, 2.0. 2 .0. This should be around 1.55 theoretically, so now it's a bit too high. We have to be careful not to continue charging after 1.55 because after that point 
the battery can experiment electrolysis inside, so it can start to build up oxygen and this can either make it explode because of the mechanical pressure or create some explosion because of the oxygen combines with other components. Okay, this was the SR626SW and now I want to show you a classical 18650 lithium-ion battery. This, I think it's a Sony of around 2000 milliampere hour. First of all, we check the voltage, 4.04. Lithium-ion batteries has a voltage when it's charged of 4.2, so it's a bit below of the maximum. Now we'll charge it, so I close the circuit. We don't need to put any LED here because this battery can hold very high currents, like several hundreds of milliampere hour, of milliampere, sorry. So now I'm charging, it's charging at 0 0.9 milliampere, but this device is not made to charge kind of batteries because on a current of 0 0.9 it will take uh, ages to charge 2000 million pairs hour. So this device it was to charge this kind of batteries but on cells of lithium metal or other chemistries like zinc, silver oxide, electrolyte and you should be careful not to apply too high currents more or less maximum must be 0 0.1 of the capacity of the battery and the voltage should never surpass the maximum voltage of the battery. I didn't implement yet in the code something to stop it charging, so for the moment you need to, to be careful this number doesn't surpass the maximum. And here there is the capacity. You can use this either for charging or for discharging. So for discharging you will have a minus value here. And that's it. I hope it was useful or interesting. See you next video. Bye.